Really? Alright. Hello you guys, uh, this is Anime Lover 83's Lucky Three Productions maker, uh, music producer, uh, video filmer, uh, actor, um, what else is there? Writer, director, you get the gist of what I'm saying here. Um, I'm the creator of everything that there is on Lucky Three's Productions. Uh, the only thing though that I didn't make is most of the musical content, uh, such examples would be um, Calvin Harris, and um, a bunch of other things, I don't really know, but off the top of my head at least. But let me just get started by saying that I am an aspiring, ah, screw it, who am I kidding? I'm basically the maker of all the shit that you people are watching, and I hope you enjoy my fucking content, because I am fuck to do it for you guys. As you can see by my... But, um, some series you might know me in is uh, Jordan Friends of the World. That was the very first series that uh, my cousin and I made with his little brother, uh, where Jordan, where this little kid named Jordan pretty much tries to friend everything around him. And, uh, it started out as an amateur phone filming. It still kind of is. Uh, I haven't really evolved as much in video producing and editing and filming. Yeah, I think that's covered it. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, um, I pretty much cover all the basics. Um, I make my own series. I pretty much do all the filming for everything that I do. Um, I am the writer, director, filmer, editor, and all that fancy stuff. Of, uh, so three series of mine. One is Tag the Amateur Gamer, which is uh, my own series where I dedicate it to gaming on old school content. I think it's called Old School Gamer now. I don't exactly remember. Um, the first series that I ever did that includes nothing but me and everything that I make and all that stuff is Cody and his roommate, um, where I play the starring roles, Cody. Uh, we also have, I also have been the Filmer for uh, Lunchtime Adventures, also was Dumbass TV. Uh, it was a school um, lunchtime adventure thing where I would just film my friends sitting around the lunch table doing their witty comments and stupid remarks. Um, ironically, one of the uh, actors in there, Milo Caulfield, is actually um, the school's um, video actor. So see how I, how big a person I get to play in, so I'm not really that big and famous, but, I'm not. but uh, back in junior year, I used to be the filmer for everything, cameraman, the editor, for everyone's school projects and such. Um, the first notable project that I worked, that I collaborated with, with a bunch of my peers, was a satire on uh, kidnapping cases, where I was the filmer for most of the time, most of the time as well. Um, one of the children who wanted to be, um, who was being trained by their parents to not get kidnapped and all that stuff. And the final series, of which I play my role in as all-time maker and everything and director and all that stuff, is Road Trip Stranders, which you guys probably know or may not know. It is by far one of the most highest quality that I can personally make with all the equipment that I have. Uh, I know high quality, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Stupid guy. Uh, I, I basically uh, uh, improvise all my scripts because I, I don't really make a script. I just improv it all the way. And it's ironic because I hate improv so much. That's probably why I have a little view count and all. Um, but that's me, the gist of me. My little autobiography, I guess you could say. The next project I plan to do is a mockumentary kind of style, um, kind of revolving around the Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> On my channel that's dedicated to Yu-Gi-Oh! and a bunch of other random 
things. I made the song series called The Elements, which in Yu-Gi-Oh terms, one would find it to be a blacklister soldier and one would be another son. But it's called a Big Load of Shit, and that's basically where I, uh, it's kind of a pun on the name because I, in the videos that I made regarding the BLS, Big Load of Shit, I, uh, oh fuck, I didn't expect that to happen. Take two. Trip Stranders was, it was just basically an improv series where I just um, sat in our little set, and it was basically, the plot was, there are these two guys named Jack and uh, Cody who go out on a trip to Lake Tahoe, and during that trip, they, their little clunker right here, uh, <laughs> gets stranded out in the middle of nowhere, um, so this is where I pretty much film everything. Um, Get you a closer look. That spot right there is where I put, is where I sit down and basically put it on my witty improv. And right around there is where I leave the camera. Uh, this is actually my first time using the tripod here because I actually bought a tripod, so now I'm able to make a little bit more professional filming. Um, as you guys know, um, the only thing that isn't professional about me is my comedic acts as well as the uh, as the scripts that I use for all my videos and filming they're basically, they basically just pop out of my head so um, yeah that pretty much sums it all up the first series that um, a group of friends well actually my cousin and I ever make what made was Jordan Jordan friends of the world and in that series uh, it was basically about his little cousin um, his little brother sorry named Jordan basically friends and things around him the first video we ever had was uh, him trying to pay attention once. And it started off as a um, little, uh, little, like, phone recordings, how amateur that is, like, you know me. Um, and then I started to make my own other series called uh, Lunchtime Adventure, which was between my friends and I. Sorry, guys. quality series, as you know, would have to be Road Trip Stranders. Um, this is filmed with my beautiful recorder right here that I'm using. It's actually one that I that I got for my birthday because I really wanted to get one because all the cameras that I use, I use my mom's camera, which is just a camera and camcorder. This is just a straight up flip camcorder right here. So I pretty much evolved from the old mobile phone 1.3 megapixel camera to something as fabulous this that actually records in HD. Um, and then the second problem that arose is I don't have a stand to put these things on, so I can't exactly put it all in one place and have it look like, uh, make it look more professional, you know what I mean? I can't really do much of my works without having the, cam the camera all set up in some fancy layers or something that can make it stand still. But now with this tripod that I'm using, uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, I know I'm like all new to this technological stuff, but 
when you're cheap and you want to make some good things for people, this is all you can afford. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um, all I do right now is um, film things, people, um, record some random tidbits from now and then. I make my own music too, and I'm trying to start to go back into doing that. My first, my first mix was called uh, Solid of the Neo. I think I renamed it to Symbol, and I'm a DJ in a sense. My name's D Zero. That's my DJ Elias. So um, the first song that I'm actually proud of making uh, is called um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I don't remember. It's called Hyper Aura. I think I renamed it to something else. Um, Aurora, that's what that's what the name is called. It's by Acer, it's by me. It's a little bit more flowy, but yeah. And then the first song that I ever dubbed in was uh, a song by Burns called Dominoes. And I played in the little chorus line. Uh, I named it Pieces, because why can't I make some of these fall into little pieces? I've had a little bit of work in choir, so, and music stuff, so I'm able to my, about singing and uh, making music as well, and things like that. Get inspiration from Amici, Calvin Harris most of all, um, Nicky Romero, Zed, all those famous EDM artists and all that stuff. So I'm basically inspiring everything right now. Video producer, um, cameraman, music producer, uh, actor. <laughs> reason we started uh, Jordan Friends of the World originally was to make our own channel called Temperance, and that's where we hold all our content and stuff. And um, we wanted to gain some popularity there. Oh, and I've also been in the editing business as in I've made somewhat of my own abridged series that I'm really, really proud of. If you guys know about abridging, it's where you take um, animation from like anime such as like Naruto, Pokemon, and all that stuff. And basically, you edit the mouth movements to where you can make them say whatever you want. Notable ones would be Team Four Stars, Dragon Ball Z abridged, Yu-Gi-Oh abridged, um, what's a uh, little Kribos, Yu-Gi-Oh abridged, uh, One Kids Entertainment, uh, Pokemon abridged, and my own personal that I haven't that I haven't seen anyone work on it like professionally, but I'm trying to get there. <laughs> it's Dead Mad Wonderland. You guys probably know it from Toonami and stuff, but I have my own little skit that I made. Uh, editing the mouth movements and stuff, it fits flawlessly, and it's perfect, it's in perfect sync and everything, and it's called, um, Dead Man Shitty Land Last Rite, so uh, maybe I'll post a link down there for you guys if you want to see it, so, that's a little bit of the biography by me, Kurt Greener, and I hope you guys have been loving my videos and liking them, if you don't like them, there's always hate, but it doesn't stop me from doing what I love, so, peace out you guys, and do what you'd love to do.